Hey friends and good morning. It is 3 a.m. and we are at the Epcot parking lot and we are going to be running the Tower of Terror 10 miler. I am so nervous uh, but I'm so excited at the same time and it's going to be fun. We're going to run all the way through Epcot around World Showcase then into Hollywood Studios into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Toy Story Land down Sunset and then back to Epcot and it's going to be amazing. Anywho's let's go do this there is just something so cool about being in the parks like before they open or actually in the middle of the night because that's what it is right now it's three o'clock in the morning the race doesn't start till 5 a.m but you got to get here early and it's really nice to see spaceship earth all lit up like I said in the beginning, I am incredibly nervous and I am super excited. It's just I've never run anything like this before. This is only my second run Disney event. My first one was a 5K and when it came to deciding what I wanted to do next, I really wanted to push myself and I love Tower of Terror. So instead of doing like a 10K, I just kind of hopped right to a 10 miler. I wish I was able to dress up a little bit better. Oh my lord, they're playing Hercules. Zero to hero. This is really, this is some good pump up music. And we're actually going to head in Epcot right now. Oh, all right. All right, I'm getting excited. Hercules! For me, this is really a big deal. Personally, for me. Uh, kind of a huge accomplishment. I've never done anything like this before and I've been training really hard But it's not the same until you get out here and you face the humidity I do a little bit of training outside, but a lot of it is on the treadmill So I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to the humidity uh, And earlier in the morning, like I said, it's gonna get hotter out right now. It's like 68 70 degrees, but you know, it's Florida. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have a lot of humid uh, humidity and uh, Yeah I'm, I'm uh, excited just to be here. Even if I can't finish, I feel like I did something by starting and trying. The race should start in just about an hour and a half and there's a lot of people just hanging out. They have some live music, a DJ. They have uh, a lot of photo opportunities. Everybody looks fantastic dressed up. I wish I dressed up, but like I said, I was kind of more nervous and it, it's, 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 I don't know. Once I get more comfortable, I think I'll start dressing up whenever I do the Run Disney events. And uh, I think we're just gonna head right in and wait at the start line. You know what I mean? Uh, I, we've got like an hour, but I'd rather just be there and try to get like a, a front spot in the corral. And here it is, the most magical place to race. I am in the third corral and I'm excited for that. They have four different corrals and if you guys don't know how it works, basically Run Disney recommends a 15 minute uh, mile like pace and uh, first corral goes off, second corral, third and then fourth and then behind them are the balloon ladies. Now if the balloon ladies actually catch up to you, then you are done, like you're just done. So like if they pass you, then they pick you up and they bring you back here and you didn't complete, you, you didn't complete it. So uh, being in not the last spot is kind of an added benefit. When I first did my 5K, you know, you always see like videos where they have like the start and then the fireworks go off and then you think everybody runs, but that's not really how it is. Like it's kind of staged in groups. So even though we're here right now and the race starts at five, we might not be able to race until like 5.30, 6 o'clock. So we're gonna be waiting for a while. And uh, here it is, number three, we're heading in. This is also the first time a Run Disney event gets to run through Galaxy's Edge. Oh boy. They're playing the uh, preview for Obi-Wan. I've got myself a nice little fanny pack here. So we were able to put the camera and my cell phone in there. And I don't want to be jingle jangling when I'm running around, especially in my pockets. And a lot of people always ask what kind of shoes I like to wear. And I ended up getting some Brooks Glycerin right here. They're very fancy. All right, now it's time we're moving in. Time to get really uh, close to everybody. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last
fight. We're about to start, but I have to pee. <laughs> All right, it looks like that's the rest of the third group. And here is the fourth corral. And I ran into my friends, the York Adventures. Hi guys, you guys look fantastic. You ready? Nice. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Well, good luck. <laughs> look at that. I like how they got the little rope there. I think this is ours. This is gonna be us now. Here we go, first miles of warm up. <laughs> We're going. It's 5 30. 5 30. <laughs> Oh wow, this is cool. Whatever we're coming up on here. I think we're about to go into another dimension here Your temporal state is about to be altered Mind inducement shifting into a 1939 conceit A 1939 persuasion The certitude once felt will substantially fade and negatively to 1939 we're coming up on our first character sighting, and look, it's formal Chippendale. They look so fantastic. One mile down right there. Holy moly. <laughs> and we're heading backstage. We're under test track right now. Look at that, isn't it amazing? <sighs> I think we have to go to the bathroom. We're gonna stop into Norway. <laughs> I have never peed that much in my whole entire life. I drank so much water before this. <laughs> Water break. Oh, thank you. Good job, everybody. Thank job. you. We're cutting here by Morocco. And it's funny because we're heading to the Tower of Terror. And you know, the Tower of Terror kind of blends in with Morocco. Two miles with a little Corella and some Gracie there. Hi! You guys having fun? Yeah. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit of pins and needles in my feet, and I've only hit the two minute, two mile mark. So, I'm starting to feel a little nervous. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. Woo! Rubbing biofreeze on my calves here. All right. I wish I could rub it on my feet. <laughs> Shockingly, the biofreeze actually helped my calves a little bit there. Like it did. I feel a little bit better already. There's another one at two miles. This is the back side of the Skyliner station here. Oh yes. Change in terrain here. Now we are heading towards the boardwalk. It's gonna be so nice seeing the boardwalk all lit up at night or in the morning. But look at that view. I'm sorry things aren't as steady as normal. I didn't bring my tripod and uh, I'm a big sweaty mess. We got jelly rolls. Dueling piano bar. Oh, I think I need to go to Jelly Rolls to celebrate afterwards. You guys remember, I said the only thing I ever run before for Run Disney was a 5K for Wine and Dine. And guess what? That's the 5K. <laughs> Two more 5Ks to go and we can see Hollywood Studios. And there's the Tower of Terror. I remember the days of coming here this time of the morning to get a Rise of the Resistance boarding group. How funny is that? Now boarding groups don't exist anymore. They used to be here though, like literally 6 a.m. Another rare sighting. That's awesome. Welcome to Batu. From a different dimension, to a different planet. <laughs> now we made it into Toy Story Land and look, it's Bo Peep and Woody. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I had to stop at the Toy Story Land bathrooms, but I want to say a big thank you to my running partner, Meg, 
at Mickey's Magic. She actually is running this with me right now, and she doesn't live in Florida. So she is running with me, and we're talking back and forth, and she's really giving me like great words of encouragement. So thank you so much, Meg, and we're almost halfway there. Hey! Look at how pretty it is here in Toy Story Land. And it's usually at night, but the sun's coming up. Oh, the sun's coming up. We gotta hurry. Wow, look at Mickey and Minnie. That is amazing. <laughs> All right, we made our way through Hollywood Studios. It's time to make it down sunset to the Tower of Terror. Oh, I can't see a thing, and I lost my towel. <laughs> but we're here. Oh. I don't know. Look at these ghost bell hops here. Oh my lord, I love it. That is awesome. <laughs> they look so spooktacular. <laughs> I could do this. I could do this. <sighs> One, two, three, let's go. Oh boy, that's a big loop. <laughs> Mario Marker 5. There's Pluto hanging out on the side of the road. Look at him with his little hat. They were all just so adorable. <laughs> I love it. I'm happy to see people still on the bridge up there. So that means we're not really far back. Like, we're not like at the end of the corral here. So that's good. It's a good sign. I feel like we were just up there. Oh my God. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Come to Lush Mutters. Come to Lush Olaf. Come to Lush. Hey! Woo! Honey Stinger. Energy Chews. I'll take that. And that right there, 10K. <laughs> Whew. And I got some energy chews. All right. I'm not seeing the balloon, ladies. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it. And look at that sunrise. I haven't seen them. Yeah. Whew. Oh boy. <laughs> look at that. And there it is. Mile number seven. One 5K to go. We could do this. Woo! We see Epcot. We see Epcot. We're going uphill. Epcot's around the corner and the sun is out. We've hit the top of the hill and just like the Tower of Terror, what goes up must go down. <laughs> I hope the lens is clean. I can't tell because I can't see. <laughs> I've been having fog issues real bad with my glasses. <laughs> Actually, this whole entire race, I haven't been able to look out my glasses without fog at all, I think. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. These characters were my favorite characters whenever I used to come to the Tower of Terror. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is just amazing. <laughs> oh, Mark Daniels. <laughs> it's another hill. <laughs> oh boy. We came down one. We're going back up. Yeah. I'm so happy I did this. I am like so, so happy. <laughs> Your temporal state is about to be altered. Mine inducement shifting slowly back to reality. I really wish I wore my fedora. I would have definitely stopped and taken a picture with him. <laughs> we made it back to Epcot. We're about to head in. Oh boy. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> We're in the backside of the Living Seas. That's really cool. <laughs> Backstage just gets me so excited. <laughs> Ooh, some Powerade. <sighs> the Goofy movie's playing. You need eye to eye for the first time. <laughs> I've never been so excited to see Spaceship Earth, but there she is. 
the prettiest girl in school. <laughs> and I'm so happy this new walkway's open. <laughs> Look, you can see the test track cars in the garage back there. Test track. That is so amazing, isn't it? This is where they put all the cars at. Half mile to go. Speed bumps ahead. <laughs> Caution runner. Speed bumps. And there's Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the show building. <laughs> this is so cool to see. So the front is where Ellen's energy used to be. And this is going to launch you into the show building. And then I, I would suppose bring you back down. And everything, the whole ride's right in there. Massive, huge show building though. It's just really awesome to be up close like this. It is 8 a.m. and I'm stopping. I'm stopping. The finish line's right there. I'm gonna go get cleaned up and I'm gonna walk across that finish line without foggy glasses. No foggy glasses, but we did it. My bib is actually starting to deteriorate because of all the sweat. So I'm gonna have to try to put that in because I want to make sure I get my photo. Deep inside of me. <laughs> oh boy. I'm trying to keep the glasses clean. Hi friends! Ah, hooked on a feeling you're in love with me. I don't think the glasses are gonna stay on fog. Yes! Woo! That's right. I love it. Congratulations, young lady. You just went 10 miles. There it is. Woo! There it is. They might like you. I got goofy. Oh. Thanks for cheering for me, guys. Your videos are awesome. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Oh. Now it's time for some snacks. We get a little snack box and a little banana. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> this is what you get in your little box here. Some tortillas, sunflower seeds, some cheddar cheese. Oh, and uh, it looks like a uh, mini fruit bar. Fancy. Oh, and a uh, moist Halloween. I think I'm going to use that for my glasses. We got all cleaned up, and now I think we're going to go cheer on the rest of the runners as they're coming in. I'm just, I'm very, very happy, guys. I'm, I'm so, I'm very, very happy. Look at, there they are. Woo! That's it. In the bigger scheme of things, I know 10 miles isn't like the best, but to me, it is so much more. It is something that I really, really focused hard to actually be able to do. And I'm happy that I was able to bring and make a video to like kind of document it. I was so nervous that I wasn't going to be able to finish. And, you know, it, it wasn't so much about like the timing and stuff like that. I was afraid I was going to get a late cramp. I was afraid I was going to like, you know, something or I was just going to get too tired and lose all my stamina. And, you know, it, it, it went good once you're out there and you're just going. Uh, your, your feet hurt and your, your legs hurt, but that's why the biofreeze is so good. And and I, it kept me going and I really am so proud that I got to do this and I, I'm you know using this as a stepping stool I went from a 5k to a 10 miler next maybe a half marathon like we'll start and just continue on going until I can do a challenge and I'm really I, I, I really do really love the run Disney <laughs> I love being in the parks going through the parks it gives me motivation i don't know why like i can't run you know at home but if i'm running through a park i don't know it just feels different it just feels a lot a lot different Laura. You're cool. 
You ten mile veteran. Yes. All right, I think we have some Guardians of the Galaxy coming in. Oh wow! Look at the Guardians of the Galaxy coming in. I love it. Oh. Way to have the that is amazing. I see you, young man. Go, we're so proud of you. Get it! Yes! Oh, yes. Yes, yes! Woo! Yes! Oh, go, yes! Well, that was amazing. Honestly, seeing people come across the finish line and everyone that was cheering people on, but even cheering me on when I was walking through, it makes a big difference. It does, it really makes a huge difference. And now I think I'm gonna head to a park. I think I'm gonna go to the park because I wanna get photos. So maybe I'll head to Hollywood Studios so I can take a photo with the Tower of Terror and my medal. You gotta go to a park after you celebrate. But first, I think we're gonna go home and get cleaned up. Gotta get all cleaned up, gotta get changed, shower, you know, all that, all the stuff, all the things. All cleaned up and feeling good, and now we're heading back to Hollywood Studios. I have to get that photo, you know, where you're holding the Tower of Terror medal in front of the Tower of Terror. Like, I feel like that's like a must, so that's why I wanted to come back here. And it's so cool because we just ran through here. It feels so great to be back here. It does look like it might rain a little bit and I really wanted to ride Tower of Terror. I'm sure it's probably a 150 minute wait because they only have the two elevator shafts open, but we'll take a, a look-see. Even if I have to wait the 150 minutes, I don't know though. My legs are feeling a little, uh, a little heavy right now. Honestly though, if I can't ride the Tower of Terror, I think I might be okay with just, you know, grabbing a beer and sitting and staring at the Tower of Terror. I feel like that would be okay too. It's a perfect time to wait in line to actually get a nice photo pass shot here. I was trying to take photos when we were running down here, like running down Sunset, but I was so fogged up, like my glasses, I couldn't see anything. And I couldn't even tell if the camera, like I'm sure all my pictures are blurry. I hope the video comes out good because I still haven't edited it yet. That's what this video is about today. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was amazing. The reason I wanted to actually wait in this photo pass line, even though it was a really long line, is because you get your photo with the Hollywood Tower Hotel uh, suitcase of luggage. Look at it. Isn't it so cool? It's going to be such a beautiful picture, especially with my medal. Now that we got some of the snazzy photos taken care of, now it's time to drop into the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I love the fact that during the race they were playing this type of music as you were running and it really just fit perfectly for the Tower of Terror 10 miler. The wait time for Tower of Terror was 130 minutes. And guys, I caved. I caved, I bought Genie Plus, and then I sat there and just refreshed, refreshed, refreshed until I can get one. And I'm gonna pay $15 basically just to ride this ride. That's it, and it's worth it. I think today it's totally, totally worth it. Uh, I mean, it's a great ride. Tower of Terror is amazing. But uh, to get the whole Genie Plus service and just use one ride, you know what I mean? That's not worth it. But today, I mean, you have to. One of my favorite things to actually point out in the Tower of Terror are the handprints up there. Look at them, they're kind of like going down. Isn't that so nifty? I also wish we can go up to the Tip Top Club to celebrate top of the tower. I love how all of these actually, you take the missing letters because you notice everything has a missing letter and it actually spells out something and I don't know what it is. So like this is a uh, star, uh, A, uh, and then down here you have like lob and the Y's missing there. Or these are W's for the lower. I wonder what it's, I wonder what it spells. Oh. 
I unhooked Goofy because he goes up and down like this. So it'd be funny is as we're riding the ride, it's like, you know, he goes up and down. Welcome to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. In just a few moments, your elevators will be dropping in to take you to your rooms. I'll be calling you in one row at a time. All seatbelts go left to right and left to right only. Make sure you hold on to any loose articles for children. I hope this doesn't fly up and hit me in the face. I mean, it's pretty heavy, but I'm not too sure how things work here. There's the Twilight Zone. One time, my hat flew off and actually fell down the elevator shaft, and they found it. They actually found it at the bottom, and I had to go pick it up at Disney Springs. Perfect. Now, everybody, go ahead and put your hands up for just a moment. Everybody, hands up for just a moment. Practice saying goodbye. Goodbye. was amazing just being able to come out and ride the tower of terror after riding the tower of terror 10 miler feel like i did the right thing there but now i think i'm gonna probably take off i think i'm gonna head home and get some rest uh it's been a long long day i haven't slept so like you're supposed to wake up i, I was supposed to wake up at 2 a.m for the run and i kind of just stayed awake like, I, I didn't go to bed at all last night. You get too nervous and everything like that. So, I've been up for a very long time. And now it's almost like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I am exhausted. I am so, so exhausted. I'm kind of delirious. But I had the best time ever. This was such an amazing thing that I was able to accomplish for myself personally. Like, I feel so happy and proud of myself. And I am so, like, thankful to be able to share it with you guys. And I can't wait. Next thing you know, half marathon, marathon week, uh, here we come. I mean, <laughs> crazy. Never thought I would ever say that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Let's just take one last look at that big, beautiful Tower of Terror. Because that right there is the thing that gave me the motivation to do 10 miles this morning. Without the Tower of Terror, I probably would have just signed up for the 10K. But I knew it the second I saw it. Because I love the Tower of Terror. So, thank you. Thank you, the Hollywood Tower Hotel.